What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Scope of the Show and Advent Calendar, where it is 10 days until Christmas, and we are joined by a highly requested guest. It is the one and only Mr. Danny Ahrens. How are we, Daniel? Hey! I'm very well, mate. I'm just currently holding uh, a signed Richarlison shirt in my no. hand. No! Oh, I am, mate. I've been meaning to send you one, by the way. I have a match-worn Richarlison shirt. Shut up. Everton won. Everton won. So no! I'm trying, I'm trying to get that sent to you, mate. Uh, in return for one of your Christmas jumpers, please. That is a absolutely delightful trade because I was sending you one anyway, so I'll sh oh, rip I your hand off for that, mate. Absolutely. 100%. How did you get that? Uh, I've done 11 match-worn shirts beside my team. So Mother Aaron's just went out and bought them, I'm guessing? Uh, you know Ellis from Away Days? Okay, yeah. He, he sorted me nicely. Well, I paid him lots of money to do that, but yeah. He, he got me 11. He bought shirts off him, but he yeah. did it for you, and you didn't yeah. know what was coming. Good idea, oh, isn't it? I've been nice by Ellis then. Thank you very much, Ellis. Well, no, thank you very much, money. Danny. Yeah, it's I, my I mean, money. I, I can buy it off you if you want, but if he's on no, an Everton fine, shirt no. and so on, you want to give it to a lovely home, I, I can will, put mate. it on the wall. I will. Oh, mate, you're an absolute legend. Well, there is one of the Christmas jumpers coming your way as well. I'm not sure which one. Maybe I should send you both now. I feel like I feel like you have to now, yeah. Both. yeah. Is it going to top this, though? Well, I mean, you can't see it, but the viewers can. This is I'm wearing a Borussia Dortmund one. Ooh, okay. I, did, well, I have a Tottenham one, but I feel like it's a bit boring, so... Okay, I'm wearing it, it, a AJ3 one. Love that. Yeah, and I'm holding an AJ3 one as well, the OA version. So if you guys want to go pick one up, it's the 15th today, 10 days till Christmas. If you're in the UK, three to five working days delivery, so you'll still be able to get it for Christmas, unless the postman go on strike again or something. But it won't be, at least it won't be my fault, Danny, so... We'll ship them out to you straight away on three to five working days. If you're EU, US, or rest of the world, it's three to eight. So you should just be able to get it by the skinny of teeth for Christmas in an ideal world. Go and check them out. It's basically your last chance to get one if you want to wear one of these babies at Christmas dinner. If you want to support the channel, we are giving 10% of the revenue that we make to fan support and food banks as well. It is Christmas. It is a time for giving, and that is what we're going to do. Thanks to the support of you guys on the channel. Go check them out. AJFree.shop. The link is down in the description. Good man. Daniel. Hello, mate. Welcome to some Scrubble the Shit, huh? Rich Arlison, welcome to my favourite Everton player, now playing for Spurs. Biggest club in the in the Premier League, yep. It's, kind of, it's a bit sad. I love it. I mean, he's a good man. He, that, I've got much respect for Everton for giving us to him. You know, it's a win-win. You got like, what, 60 mil? And we got Rich Arlison, so... 60 mil for Brazil's number nine, who's scoring over eight kicks and bagging braces in the World Cup and stuff. That I feel like we've been robbed. Well, I think that's fair price. What what did you do with the 60 mil? Uh, have you done anything? I, I don't know. Probably spent it on Davy Clarkson or something. No, in Everton. He's great. Don't worry. He do. I, I don't know what we did at 60 mil, to be honest with you. Bought Neil Mopay. He, uh, I, I like my pie. Is that his my pie? I do like him. I like a pie. I get comparisons to him. You get comparisons? Uh, let me get this up. I've never, that's never crossed my mind. And to be fair, he's a he's a useful little player. He's good, isn't he? He's just not Richarlison. True, very true. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see yeah. it. Danny Morpai, yeah, nice. Yeah. Get that Everton top on and you'll look exactly like him. We'll never wear an Everton top <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I have you ever worn an Arsenal shirt or anything? Any like any other club's kit? No. No. I've never worn an Arsenal shirt. I've uh, yeah, no, I haven't. But I can't lie. I, it's not that deep, in my opinion. Like, I would never wear one yet. But like, you know when it's like, oh, would you would you wear an Arsenal shirt for this amount of money? Yes, it's not that deep, in it. Like, they have, I, I'm a man. I'd admit it. Like the purple Arsenal, uh, pink. Sorry, the pink one, very nice. And even the the black and gold, they're nice shirts, isn't it? Yeah, fair. It, it does, you see them things on Instagram all the time, and it's always really mundane things for yeah. absolutely ludicrous amounts exactly. of money. And, like, and people in the comments like, no, I would never. I would never do that. Would you run down your street naked for five billion pounds a year for the rest of your life? And it's like, oh, absolutely not. I couldn't have my neighbours see me. Mate, five billion pounds. I'd walk around naked for the rest of my life. I'd do it for 50 quid, to be honest with you. 50 quid's 50 quid, isn't it? You know? Exactly. What formation would you like to play Richarlison in, Daniel? Um, I want to go attacking here. My my bum fiddle is four three one two. Your what? My bum fiddle, right? 
Yeah, you know that from from Bateson, surely. No, you're an OG. How, you, how do I I'm know like that? I'm like 44 and you don't? months subscribed to Bateson, and Mate, I don't even know ben, that. Benja is my bum fiddle. You know that. I don't know that. How do you not know? Mate, I'm like, I'm 12 and I know that. Right, right, the joke's gone over your head, mate. I'm going 4-3-2-1. Okay, sure. You can yeah? have it. I'm so Thank you confused. very much, sir. You, mate, you need to look look up Benzia as my bum fiddle. Everyone watching knows what I'm on about, by the way. Unless they're Benzia. 10. Benzia. Benzia. Is he trying to say Benzema? No, Benzia. He's, he is French. Benzia Bateson comes yeah. up on YouTube. That's all you need. FIFA 13. Yeah. When you like six? I was probably, what, 11? Maybe, I can't, yeah, 11, I think. 11 or 10. <laughs> what have I just watched? We can't even put that in the video. No, you can't, no. I, I, did, I didn't put the swearing part in, just, you yeah, know, for your okay, own sake, yeah. you know. What a bait, oh, mate. 2013 Baton was just different. Undefeated, mate. Blocking everyone, saying mad stuff. Like Bateson, okay. Maturing is realising Bateson is an absolute hero. Like, I used to grow up hating him. Because, oh, he blocked people, but I love him. He, actually, he genuinely is a bowler. Yeah, Bateson's great. I think Bateson has also matured as well and now gets involved in the banter, whereas he did used to take it quite a lot to heart. He still blocks a lot of people, mine, but, you know. I mean, I block the occasional people. I mostly mute people because then it's funny because they're just shouting into the void. you think it's, it's like blocking without satisfaction, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's so good. I only block scammers. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, buy FIFA coins off me. Oh, contact me on Telegram. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. Hate Telegram. I don't even know what Telegram is. Does that make me old as well? I don't know what it is, to be fair, no. All I know is it's what YouTube scam bots try to get you with. But realistically, it's natural selection. I'm sorry, <laughs> like, if, you, if you're downloading Telegram and, like, getting, what was it, like, a free PC? Yeah, for 60 quid. Did you see that one? Yeah. Some guy was raging in my comment sections. Yeah. Because he'd been... Andy said I'd won and I hadn't. He wanted 60 quid off me. It wasn't me. Some random real AJ3 with one subscriber didn't give you a PC. If someone contacts you on Telegram, yes, it may be natural selection. But if you are going to be naturally selected, please know it is not me. It is not Danny. It's not any YouTuber ever. None of them are using Telegram to give you giveaways. And they don't want 60 quid. I, I wouldn't mind 60 quid, personally. Some guy did reply to me saying, I'm still waiting on you to send me that Lambo. And I was like, yeah, I'm still waiting on you to send me the 60 quid, mate. <laughs> Hey, 60 quid for a PC is a good deal, you know. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's just a shame you don't get the PC at the end of it. But, by the way, for reference, I've held up my whiteboard for the past four minutes. It's a good job you hit Jim then, innit? I'm going to go 4-3-1-2. Yeah, there was no point holding it up then, was it? Not really. Hopefully. No, what have you put? Or triple two, mate. Nice. That is my go-to, to be fair. He's done his research. All right, that's fine. We've both got our formations. It's going to be yeah. a respectful game of Squad Builder Showdown. It is. Shall we jump in and do the first players then? Indeed. Then, Daniel, into the first picks we go. Where? I'm going to ask you a very, very important question. First. First. I don't know what that means. Have you just called first on the comment section? You've got it in there before they can <laughs> even comment. You're in the recording about 10 days beforehand. And you've won uh, already. Thank you very much, yeah. Right, have get you the watched PC? Tom Scott? You can I have do. the PC, mate. Contact me on Telegram. You do watch Tom Scott. You I see, love sometimes Tom he uploads Scott. a video and he's commented two months ago on it. Yeah, because it's like unlisted before. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Oh, man. That is a man who works ahead. However, I've got a very important question for you, Danny. Mm. Voice notes or texts? Do you not. If you ever voice note me, I'm never opening it. Never. <laughs> I, I, I like when I speak to people on text, I'm normally speaking to people in real life. So I have to pause the conversation in real life to be like, oh, sorry. And like when I'm streaming, my mum sends me a voice message. I'm like, it, right, I'm going to have to play it because it stream. might be an yeah. emergency, you know. But normally it's just her. When every time football's on, she likes to say, for example, France play, she messaged me going, oh, 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 like that. <laughs> I, can, I can prove it if you want. Go you on. Can scroll back. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I... When someone asks me to explain something, I like to send a voice message because I'm lazy. And I can't be bothered to type Man, it all out. Not for me. But I hate getting voice messages, so I try not to do it as much as I possibly can. Because yeah. when I ask someone to explain something and then they send me a voice note, it's like when you search a YouTube tutorial and you spend the first five minutes telling you about their life story and making sure you like and subscribe and stuff. It's like when you do a squabble of the show and you just want them to pick the players and they spend the first five minutes talking about... Whether you should send voice notes or texts, you know? Yeah. Uh, are you ready for this? Go on. Right. Mbappé, 
Wilson does it again. Ah. You hear that? I heard something. Discord kind of cut it out by a she with Mother Aaron shouting Boppy. The video will hear that and they'll laugh, okay? Okay, I can't hear it because yeah, Discord's no, noise gate. Trust me, yeah. they will have a good laugh at that, all right? Nice, I like it. So you're fully in f team text? Yes, absolutely. Because there's some people who only voice note you. No, I would never speak to them, ever. Yeah, and then you text them and they send you a voice note back and you text them like, come on, text me. And they send you yeah. a voice note back and you text them and he's like, get the hints, just text I, me I back. Would, I would block that person. Yeah, fair. <laughs> okay, well... I have not voice noted my picks. I've written them down, Danny. In text okay, well, I don't form. know. I have no idea what you said there. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Imagine that actually. That imagine doing voice notes for Squabble the Showdown. But why would you do that? That's just a huge inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, but I just play a voice note that says, "Hi everyone, Andy from five minutes ago here. I've written down." I don't know. Never. Maybe a good way to do a prank because then you could just have one for every section. Every guess. <laughs> just say like every human being yeah. ever. Like Mr. Beast back in the day, sitting here, re I read the whole of Fuppin. <laughs> that would bang, you know. <laughs> I get that on the idealist. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Who do you want, mate? Who do I want? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go bait, you know. I'm going outrageous. Outrageous, he says. I'm going to go with the greatest striker in the world currently. Inarguably, uh, is Sir Harold Kane. Okay, nice. So he's going centre. You sound like you've got a smile in your face. Yeah. Okay, Harry Kane. And I'm not. This might count as my OMG outrageous position change inbound. Because I'm going with Dejan Kulisevsky. Ooh. Road to the knockout. Fully upgraded. Got every upgrade possible. Because we're winning the Champions League. Bang! Uh, but you've probably got Harry Kane, haven't you? I haven't got Harry Ooh. Kane. But I have. Lins. But I haven't. Huh? Because I wrote Keane and then rubbed the E out. Well, that doesn't count, does it? No, it doesn't. No. Quite clever. And then I put Fred. Yeah, that's your wasted, mate. Absolutely off You've it. got normal Harry Kane. Come on. Uh, I appreciate in three days' time, he's about to win the World Cup and get yeah. a 99-rated card, but that card isn't out yet. Imagine we'd, we'd be knocked out already. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's going to be really bad. to France on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, a that's not happening. 89-rated Harry Kane. What's wrong with that? Well, when he's 99-rated for winning the World Cup, scoring a hat-trick yeah. in the final you've against... Now said it, you've now said it twice. Yeah. Who, who are we playing in the final? We are playing Morocco in the final. Morocco in the final? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't uh, think that's possible. That's it's not, not possible. possible. No, we'll be, we're playing in them in the semi-finals after yeah. they knocked Portugal out. Yeah. We'll be playing Croatia in the final for there revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revenge is a dish best served at the World Cup. You can have them all, though. Thanks, I mate. myself, oh, because... Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, good, good, England. good, sorry. Yeah. Have, have you not written them down? No, I have, I have. So I just forgot to show you. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, because England are winning the World Cup, I'm going to go... He's handsome, he's pretty, he plays for Man City. His name is Jack Jack. Oh, Jesus. Jack Jack Grealish. Oh, Jesus. He is my boo boo. My boo boo he boo. He's my bobbity boo or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't heard that song until the other day with Reeve. I got introduced to it and I kind of wish I never had. Nah, it's beautiful. The fairy tale in New York was actually quite good. I, if the, somehow the England fans can coordinate themselves to sing that against France, yeah, no that'd be majestic. And then I packed this man the other day. I say the other day. By the time people watching this video, it's like three weeks ago. But I packed this guy about three weeks ago and I've never used him, so let's get him out now. Samuletto. Got one Everton legend in Richarlison. I'll have another one. You see what he done the other day? Yeah, he kicked a fella in the head, didn't he? Absolute psycho. Yeah. And then he posted. The first thing I seen of it was him posting an apology on social media. And he was like, oh, I'm really sorry. He just didn't even apologise. He just called the other team a cheat. Yeah, he was just like, I'm really sorry. I got into a violent altercation because Algerians are bad. And I was like, okay, so i helping it, yeah. Yeah. So then I assumed, like, some fans had tried to scrap him. And then whilst he was in a bit of a ruckus, he got a bit carried away and booted someone who was on the floor. Horrendous thing to do. But slightly more understandable than what actually happened, which was he chased the man and kicked him in the face for no reason. It was quite funny, though. I mean, <laughs> as an outsider looking in, it's mental. Sorry. 
I mean, I can see what you say. It's funny in terms yeah. of, is this guy gone mental? Yeah. Like, it's so outlandishly ridiculous. Because I read the statement and was like, bloody hell, he must have been in like, his security failed and he's like in a fan village or something and people are jumping on him and he's kicked someone and it's like, still just, it should, still should be bringing people in the head. Like, that's going a bit far. But, yeah. nope, he chased the man and the fella didn't do anything and he kicked him in the head. And now he's about to kick balls into your goal. Uh, you you race showed me, mate. I thought you was going to do, oh, we got, we got Tottenham and now we're going to put Arsenal players in. So I put, I mean, I've rubbed them out, but I put Jesus yep. and then Odegaard. And I even done the proper O. No, with the dots. Yeah. That is showing off. Yeah. Very nice. Now I've got Jack Jack and Jell Jell. Jack 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 Grigley. Yeah. That's good, that. But you've already used your icon. And I've used my special pick. And annoyingly, my icon's bloody useless. Like, hold. Who's building a Cameroon team? No one. Yeah, that's funny. Well, there are, you know, well, there are some good Cameroonians, so who knows, mate? Maybe. Should we move on to the midfield and see? Yes, sir. All right, then. Into the midfield we go. I feel like your our Christmas debate wasn't very debated. It was just very cut and dry, Danny. Well, go on, then. So I'm going to hit you with another one. When you go to the Christmas cupboards, I assume you have a Christmas cupboard. I don't even know what that means. You don't know what a Christmas cupboard is, mate. Well, I'm, I'm going to assume it's a cupboard with Christmas things. Yeah, just Christmas treats and like... Well, that's just a normal cupboard then, isn't it? No, but it's a special cupboard of Christmas because it has things in that you wouldn't usually have. But There's has. Christmas in it. Celebrations. I have and that 24-7, mate. Infant, you can even buy celebrations 24-7. Of course you can. No, you can't. Absolutely, yeah, because it's like a good birthday present, isn't it? Are you messing? I thought they only sold them at Christmas. I thought it was like no, Michael Bublé no, to just no, roll them no. off for Christmas and then <laughs> back into hiding. No, I don't think so. Well, that is mad. Okay, well, Pringles. Yeah, but you just... You can't have know. Pringles all the time as well, but you'll add as many Pringle tubs as you want in the Christmas cupboard. Selection box. So what? What? So what is the, what's your question then? If you go into the Christmas cupboard, yeah. crisps or chocolate? Good qu ah, that's now now we're talking. Good question. I like see I like the food debates. Um oh, this wanna be up your street. Uh quality street. <laughs> quality um, street? Uh, I would go Wait, with Wait, are you with, joking? Or did you actually just was seriously a, say quality street? It was a pun, mate. Oh uh, you get because it, it was a yeah, because you said it was right up your street. Oh, so a quality I said street. Quality, oh, okay, it was a sure. pun, mate. Sorry, I got so um, distracted by the fact that I thought you were saying quality street was better than celebrations and heroes and roses and all uh, the ones. I would, I would have an argument for that, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we've already been through that one with pie face. So we're going to say crisps or chocolate, Danny. We're, we're going to say crisps. Same. I, I do like my crisps, to be honest with you. I'm not low key. You might not think it. I actually don't like chocolate that much. Legit. Not at all. No, I don't, I don't mind it. I'll have a. I like chocolate bars, but chocolate cake, milkshake, ice cream. That's because fake. Yeah, fake awful. chocolate stuff's horrible. I hate chocolate yeah. ice cream. Don't yeah, like chocolate awful. cake, but right. like actual chocolate. Yeah, I like chocolate bars. Yeah. What's your favourite chocolate bar? Kinder Bueno White. Okay. You, that is have very you tried? Dark. I wasn't expecting that. It's was, one tier below Fredo Roche, there, isn't it? <laughs> no, Kinder Bueno White is about a pound. I thought you were going to move just like dairy milk or something. Why would I do that? I'm not boring. Oh, I was about to say dairy milk and I don't want to. You can, you can do it if you want, mate, but the viewers will judge you. I like normal chocolate when it's just chocolate. So it doesn't necessarily have to be dairy milk. Galaxy. Tony's. Galaxy's nice. Lint. A bit tory, that. It's just, just chocolatey chocolate. What's that Swiss one in the purple wrapper with the cow on it? Milka. That's good. Just, ah, just yeah. chocolate. I mean, I can get on board with a Toblerone and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I like a full-size Toblerone that you buy at the airport. Christmas cupboards. You don't, see, you don't buy Toblerone all year round, do you? You only have Toblerone yeah, my, at Christmas. My, I'll have you know, my dad loves Toblerone. So October time, we get Toblerone, all right? That's his birthday. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so Toblerone's a special occasion sort of job in it. Yeah. So you could be go to the airport, birthdays or Christmas. So I, ca I can polish off a giant Toblerone by myself and then feel really sick for the rest of the day. Worth it though. It yeah. is lovely. But I think just just normal chocolate where you can like play that game where you put it on your tongue and see how long you can hold it there till it melts. Yeah, I, I love doing that. Yeah, but that's a great one, yeah. That, that's the riveting sort of stuff that we do in my household. <laughs> I don't 
don't know where to go with this now. Yeah, I'm, I, just, I'm, I'm a Chris man. I'm a Chris man as well. That's what I'm going to say. But the thing is, they complement each other, you know. If chocolate you have crisps and, crisps and then you have chocolate, it hits. It's like ten out of ten, you know. That's like when you have. If you, that's when people say like wine goes with food or cakes go with coffee and things like stuff like that. Yeah. If you drink some wine, like, oh, it tastes like wine. But if you eat some food and then drink some wine, like. Oh, it, it tastes like berries. It. Yeah. yeah. It's Very interesting. Nice. Yeah. Th that's another thing. Maturin is finding out Baton's a legend. Maturin is finding out wine's nice. Never tried it, mate. Don't. Never tried wine. It's good. Never tried alcohol apart from a sip. Just a little. Yeah. And then I, I did I not can like it. That. <laughs> but do you not like where it, that it's Don't poison, like the taste, basically? Mate. The Don't taste. Like the taste. Oh, okay. Maybe you've just had. To get yourself a pina colada. You can't not love the taste of that. Don't like pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? Is pineapple in it? It is pineapple. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Let me let me think of another one. What about a strawberry daiquiri? Don't like strawberries that much. What about <laughs> anything with fruit, mate? No go. All right. No go for fruit. No, like, look they're, at me. The cocktails that aren't alcoholic. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Okay. What about? Got nothing. There you go. Yeah, I've got nothing. Fair play. Danny doesn't like alcohol. I respect that. Got a lot of time mate. for that. Thanks, mate. It's, it's, people are weird about it as well. We, sh we should probably say some players, Danny. Who would you like? People are going to few. No, 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 like no, 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 no. I went first last time. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. People, people are weird, is what I was going to say about people not drinking. And they're like, well, why not? And you're like, you do. Yeah. Because I don't want to. Shut up. You do what you want to do, mate. Yeah, exactly. Don't involve me. I, res I respect the not bending to peer pressure. Cheers, mate. I respect it. Right, Thank anyway. You. Players. Tiago. Rule breakers. Jesus Christ. What? What are you doing, mate? Well, you've gone full spares. Would you bet? Do you want any chemistry or no? Uh, I would like some, so that's why I'm going double Portugal. Palinha, who I've got on good authority, Bateson, that he's the best centre defensive mid in the game. And Matthias Nunes. What's going on, man? What is happening? And he's just, this, this Palinha's just been upgraded again, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Were yeah, you trusting filthy. Bateson's opinion when he's a gold two player? Wow. Wow. That man's got 40 billion coins and said he's the best two, must be. That and how it works. I'm just livid, mate. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't know what you're trying to do, mate. Just trying to get my team built, you know. It's woeful. Like, it, it, you know, it is December. Why is that woeful? Come on. Because you're, who are, you're using Tiago rule breakers. Yeah, he's got five star skills. <sighs> not having it. I'm not having it. We've got a, two path to glories, a World Cup purpley thing, and a, an icon. You've got normal Harry Kane, and you're throwing Leave shade. Leave Harry Kane out of it. He's a good man. Right. Before I start throwing Tottenham shades, tell me some players. Uh, this might be bad, I can't lie. Because this is this is something you will absolutely write down. And we go, oh, I got a dirty double. All right, so we're going to go... I'm now. Okay, I like that. <laughs> we're going to go with another... What players would you like to put in your team? <laughs> we're going with another Tottenham player. Okay. In Bentancourt. Okay. Who is unbelievable. Serious footballer. Um, and that gets everybody on full chem right now. All on free. Obviously now the obvious person to put, which you've probably got on your whiteboard, is Federico Valverde. I'll, I'll be nice. I'll buy the, the big one, the Rosler knockout. 88 rated. Ooh. 91 pace on a centre mid. Uh, and then, you know what? Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. We're getting ex Tottenham teammate, Luka Modric. That's quite cool, isn't it? I do not get to say I got the dirty double. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are not doing that. You should not do that for the rest of the video. Why not? It, um, right, who did you get then? You got single. I got the saucy single, yeah. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm not encouraging this. <laughs> <laughs> I put. Palinia, because he's the best centre mid on the game. No. I put Didn't ex doing. Tottenham teammate for the Tottenham squad, Ericsson. Ooh. 
I don't like Ericsson. Don't like Ericsson? Little rat. Wow. That's me. But you did put. You see that pentacore, Danny? Nah, uh, that's fine. Get him on the naughty list, mate. He's gone. Oh, that's actually not fine at all. No, that's your chemistry in the mud. Any um, any However, Premier League Uruguayan Tottenham players about? I'm a lovely Christmassy man, and we play Max Chemistry this year, so you can leave him in your squad for now for your chemistry. Right. However, when we get into the game, you can put yourself in centre mid. Oh, is that too good? I just, I should, no, I've got Who's all my myself? To go. Neil Mope. <laughs> 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 centre mid, not really. He's still gold, though. Uh, mate, you can put whoever um, yeah, you want. Yeah, he's still gold. We play Max Kemp. I can't be doing right. that. Nah. Do you want nah. mate? I, I'll give you him in goal if we get there. Well, hang about it. That's well, that's not how it works, surely. You Why can't not? guess my centre mid and put him in goal. No, I, I've got to guess your goalie. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, then I'll give you, and then I'll give you a Mope in goal. Okay, so that, no that's making me think I should give you a bronze now so I can give you a Mope later. Well, hey, what are you saying? You have to pick now, surely. Give me Capcom, Tom. Nice. Very nice. Rather than you. Is it just any ginger or is it that ginger goalie? No, it's... You're right, guys. Oliver Hammond here. <laughs> Let me have a look. What rating is he? 54. Plays for Knott's Forest. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That is superb. I like that a lot. I've yeah. got time for that. Fantastic. <laughs> Good man. All right. He looks like Jack54 as well. Yeah. It's like a perfect blend. Angry Ginger Gamer 13. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. But there is nice. a, there's a ginger goalie, you know, that looks exactly like him. Like Tom? Yeah. He's, uh, he's Australian, though. Do you know him? No. You no, know, you know him. Trust me. Sad a bloody look at this, then. I believe he's called Wright. Ah, oh, where is it? Can't find him, Danny. Nah, I try, you, when I find this, I'll have to like Discord you, I think, or text you it. I've typed right in on Puffin, and none of them come up that look like He's, be, he's probably retired. That's one for the comment section. No, so, no, 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 no. Are you no. going to find it? I am going to text message you this picture. Okay. Found it. Right, yeah, he retired. But right, check your phone and tell me this is not. I, can, I will show you the video as well. But check your phone. I'm checking. I'm waiting. Tell me that is not Cap Gun Tom. Oh my god. Tell me that is not. Oh my god. I mean, he's definitely not Australian, but it is no, Tom. No, he's not Australian, <laughs> mate. In fact, geographically, he could be further away from Australia if he tried. But that is Cap Gun Tom, though, isn't it? That is, though, Cap Gun Tom. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know, detour over. Playing team takedown in the Millwall goal. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Shall we move on to the fullbacks? Yes, sir. Right then. It's 1 0 to me at the moment. It's going well. It's your turn to go first again, mate. Let's make it 2 and 3. It is. I can't lie, this is bait here. Ah, I'm going to do it. Right, left back, mate. I am going. I'm, I'm praying you just don't know this card exists. Um, it's a dynamic duo, but I'm just going to be using a dynamic single. Uh, and it's going to be Sosa, who's Croatian. So, you know, link to uh, Luca. The fact you're typing that in means I am chilling. You did not know this man existed, did you? I mean, yes, but I was. I put Captavia for left back and I was set on right and Captavia. So I was checking Croatian right backs and the only good one is Perisic, but you've already used but your I special position yeah, change, yeah, so you yeah. can't do that. But I was so set on Captavia that I didn't bother to change it to Souza. Fair enough. Well, Navin. this is an outrageous position change, but completely legal in the game of Squad Builder Showdown. Okay. It is a striker. Sorry. That I'm playing right back. Sorry. Yeah. Is it Silas? It is indeed. Oh, what a man. It is indeed. Right. End this for me once and for all, Danny. How do you pronounce his name? Um, 
Uh, how do you pronounce? Oh, well, it's, it's Silas. Yeah, you say Silas. Silas. I say Silas. Silas. Yeah. No, Be it's because Silas. of League of Legends. There's a champion that's spelled the same. That's called well, Silas. Yeah, but he's not from League of Legends. No, but Silas was called Silas before Silas was called Silas. That's well. No, technically, his first name's always been Silas. Oh, okay, uh, just everyone called him know. the wrong name. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. I don't know why. Yeah. Right back. I'll take it. They're fine, isn't it? That is a bit of fun. That is up my street as well because he's got five star skills, hasn't he? Skill five star this, skills mate. and yeah. no defending. That is my type of right back, mate. I love it. Yeah. And also, my left back's high low work rate. So that's going to be great fun. But, you know, it's for content. High low, jack -a low. Did you ever used to do that in school? No. You are very old. Do you just like play on your iPhones and iPads yeah, and that? iPads we like, and all that, yeah. Yeah, we were just playing with sticks. <laughs> I am pretty old. Me and Bateson realised we were old the other day. Bet you don't even know this exists. Right, Joe, you, know, you know Pringles. Everyone knows Pringles. I know Did what you know? Pringle is, yeah. You used to be able to get like a little plastic shaped tub like with, that was Pringle shaped and it had a Pringle shaped lid to go on the top. So you could carry like 10 Pringles around your here as a snack. Yeah, I've seen that. I actually know that. Yeah. But that's, that wasn't like authentic though, was it? Yeah, it was. It was legit Pringles. Uh. Fair enough. No, I know yeah. that, yeah. Bateson was trying to buy one the other day because he's got a Pringles advent he's calendar. He's got a Pringles snake. advent oh, calendar. Man, so of course fuming. he's got food as an advent calendar. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do love Bateson, yeah. <laughs> Mate, did you want to see my advent calendar? Go on, what have you got? I've actually not been doing it. The Yankee Candle advent calendar. Get a candle every day. Okay, that is not what I would advise you down for, but fair play. I, I, I beg your pardon. Why not? I'm a candle merchant, mate. You're a candle, gonna... mate. I didn't know you were a candle okay, merchant. I'm gonna... right, so I'm showing the viewers a lot. I would have said oh, bath bombs. I was actually down incredible. as a bath bomb guy. Look what I've... Viewers at home, this is a candle. It's a can... And you just have to... You have to watch this back. Okay. I have a... It's, it's a massive gingerbread candle. Nice. I, I think I need to show you this. I had you down as a bath bomb merchant more than a candle I do merchant. Like, yeah, I do like bath bombs, yeah. Let me, uh, let me tell you something really sad. Go on. I don't have an advent calendar. But how do you not have an advent calendar? Because my mum was going to get me the Pringles on, and then she wanted to check I wanted it first, and then she went back to get it, and it was sold out. What an idiot. I know. <laughs> I've, I've sent you the the, uh, the, the ginger bread. Man. Jesus wept. It's incredible, isn't it? That's a candle. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's incredible, isn't it? You are really are a candle merchant. Okay, oh, yeah, fair play. I was in Hotel Chocolat yesterday. Yeah. And you could do all their advent calendars are half price. Ooh. Yeah, so you can get this. this like, you got an advent calendar for like 70 quid. What, and that's half price? Yeah, no, I said 35. And it was ah. like chocolates, alcohol, and something else. And I was like, nah, I'm buying an advent calendar for 35 quid. I'm not baiting. Yeah. I can't, the, the candle was 40 quid. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't know why we're all just attacking bait tonight. I just thought he buys loads of FIFA points. Probably buys expensive advent calendars, well, doesn't he? But then he had another advent calendar that was 13 quid, and it was six pound fifty on offer. And I was like, Wait, okay. he's got two. Bateson's got two. Yeah. Has he? Well, you just said there was. Oh, you mean in the no, hotel chocolate? This is hotel chocolate. chocolate. This see, is hotel see, chocolate. See. Yeah, yeah. So there was like a half price one, but I didn't get it because it was a two person advent calendar. How does that so work? So not only would I have been like seven days behind. I've also got twice as many chocolates to eat as well. Now, some yeah. people might think that that's a good thing, but I'm trying to not be fat for Christmas. Why? Well, no, it's not necessarily for Christmas. I, bet, I know I'm going to eat all sorts of stuff at Christmas, and the Christmas cupboard's getting raided, so I thought I wouldn't add on to that because I want to, like, get fit and healthy and strong and look good and stuff, you know? Trying to you do you, of, mate. You yeah. do you. So I thought, I'm not going to have two people's worth of advent calendar chocolates in half the amount of time. That's like four advent calendars. I think I thought that was a bit over the top. I mean, you could have given it to me. I would have liked that. Swap you for the Richarlison shit. Yeah. The price is going up, innit? We started off with one jumper, then we got to two jumpers. Now we're at two jumpers and four advent calendars. I think that's completely fair. Yeah, it is, to be fair. It's still a pretty good deal. And 60 quid on Telegram. Oh, yeah. Can't forget that. And a yeah. free PC, right? Yeah. 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 Do you want to know what I want? I'd love to, mate. I'd love to actually guess one. I hope you don't, because you're actually quite handy at FIFA, and I'd like to keep my pal in your path to glory. I'm a Richardson, because that's why. Pa why is Palino the one you want to keep? SBC, any? Oh, Ned. Yeah. I think I think Portugal are going to do quite well as well. Have you seen on FOTMOB? 
We do love, both love a bit of footmob now, don't we, Danny? I actually, I, mate, I actually am a footmob merchant, yeah. You are a footmob merchant, officially, yeah. I've been a footmob merchant for many years. But it's just go to anyway. Anyway, Bruno Fernandes is the highest rated player at the World Cup. Portugal are smashing it. Mm. Yeah, but he's a bit of a stat padder in my book. No, yeah, really? Did you see yeah, the through yeah, balls yeah. he was slotting through? Against, I mean, who did, who did they beat like 6 1? That was just bullying. Um, I'm checking the footmob. Switzerland, that was me. That's mean. the one, yeah. No, nah, but that's not Harry Kane can do any of that. Do you know what I mean? Fair enough. Goncalo Ramos coming on to score a hat trick in place yeah. of Ronaldo. What a man. That's the lads. That's the thing though. How is Ronaldo going to get a special card this year? He doesn't play for United or Portugal. I said, everyone's saying I'm going Alex Teller's left back. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. Why, have you, no. why have you slipped that in like that? Okay. Just thought, you know, yeah. get, get, get it on the go. <laughs> People were saying, and Jesus Navas at right back, people were saying that the World Cup would decide the GOAT debate. Now, personally, I think it's been decided forever no, and Messi's that, just better. Yeah, it does but, not need to be decided. Yeah, it's not really a debate, but people are still going to say it. And if Portugal won the World Cup, they would say Ronaldo is now the GOAT. And if Messi wins the World Cup, people will, you can't really argue it. Messi is just the GOAT. What if Portugal... It, the, the same would go for Messi, but Messi is playing for Argentina and he's... On Fotmob, I think he's second behind Bruno Fernandes, who's the most influential player at the World Cup, playing the best. What if Portugal won it, but Ronaldo didn't play? Yeah, it was irrelevant. Yeah, it doesn't just doesn't. Irrelevant. Does that make it worse that they've won it without him, and it actually lowers yeah, his goatness? Yeah, kind of. But he, there was a quote. Did you see? He says, um, "If Portugal could win the World Cup without me scoring a single goal, I would take it in a heartbeat. I swear on my children," said Ronaldo. So. I don't it's, just, it's, I mean, it's, it's a bit weird, isn't it? He swore on his children. Yeah, like if you just if you said that anyway, Ronaldo, I believe you because most normal people would say that. I feel like yeah. the fact that he had to swear on his children <laughs> means that he's trying to convince us because he knows he doesn't believe that really. Yeah. Like if Harry Kane said, like Giroud, he didn't score a single goal and France won the World Cup. I'm sure Giroud's buzzing. It's France won the World Cup. Didn't swear on his children, though. So yeah, how are you yeah, going to know? But yeah, <laughs> that's why he just makes it weird, doesn't it? Like, why have we got to add that extra bit on? Like, if Harry Kane said, I'd rather not score a single goal in England win the World Cup, everyone would be like, yeah, obviously, Harry. Cheers, mate. But he then wouldn't go, I swear on my children, it's true. It's like, yes, Harry, of course it's true. Everyone would say that. I don't know. The swearing on you're children. You're spot on, mate. It, you're spot yeah, on. It just makes it a bit weird, doesn't it? Like, it's because he doesn't believe in himself. He'd rather score. Yeah. Apparently, he's not going Saudi Arabia, though. Have you seen that? No, he's not. Yeah, it's fake news. Yeah. Interesting. You want Champions League? Good luck. Like Spurs? Yay! Where would you, where we, we are literally in the Champions League. Oh. I thought you yeah. were in. Is that Arsenal? That's Arsenal, yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, How do yeah. you... What, what you want... Mate, I've literally got rogues to knock out think... Kulisevsky in my team. Oh, yes, yeah, so you have. Do you think I pay attention to European football, Danny? Yeah, true. The only Wednesday true. nights I'm bothered about... Is the EFL Cup that Everton will be in next season? <laughs> oh dear. Right. One more pick and you're in the mud. However, if you get me, everything's up in the air. I haven't used my trump cards because I want more pay and goal. Let's get into it. Here we go then. First or second, mate, I'll give you the choice. Hmm. I, I want to guess yours, please, mate. Okay. I didn't realise when I picked my fullbacks that Jack Grealish wouldn't get full chemistry. Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. He's got no chem, chem. He is my two chem. He is my two chem. Boo. Right. I need a city player, basically. Is my rather large problemo. I assume you know that. You're not a, you're not a silly man. You're a, a man who plays a lot of FIFA. You're a man who's rather good at FIFA. Thank you, mate. Keep it going. You are a man who's got to lose to me at FIFA. So I feel like if I was you, I'd write City, City, City. Which means you've put Edison. Which means I'm fully in the mud if I lose him. And I'm going to have you in goal. So. I'm going to pick a Kanji. Yeah. What are you laughing for? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. What are you laughing for? Are you being serious? For? Okay. I'm 
I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if this gets full chem because I've bottled it and changed my mind. However, we're going to roll with it. Militao. And Allison. It doesn't get full chem. Oh, yes! no! Yes! I'm still in the game. So what happens here? Well, I've bottled it, and I need to go for the thing that I actually built in my squad. But I'm really scared, because I'm pretty sure you've written down Edison, and I'm going to lose my goalie. Well, you're going to have to do it. What if I go Laporte, De Gea, Spanish goalie? Good oh, idea. Oh, 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 because then I can lose my centre back instead. I'm gone. Yes, there we go. PK, Laporte, De Gea, please, Danny. <sighs> I can't make you a stressing over nothing. Really? I could have had Edison. I had, I, I put Dean Henderson. What? Oh no. You put Dean Henderson. I don't know, is it? You needed Kem on Grealish, so English, you know. Dean uh, I, Henderson. I did. But I did put a Manchester City centre back. Uh, Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz. And then, last but not least, your favourite. Go Jomez. Go Jomez, mate. Yeah, Why are you I'd... not put Go Jomez? Okay, okay. All right. So you've just covered the Grealish chem and left yeah. it, and I've somehow evaded it anyway. I like it. I like it. I thought, I'm yeah, very I thought intrigued I'd get one. to see what you're going to do. So am I, to be honest. I need... I need Silas needs two. Sosa, one. Modric Valverde need one. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, let, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I will have World Cup hero Lucio in my team. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts? How much That's does he cost? 1.5 mil. Jesus Christ. Um, you know what? Send it. Team's looking a bit stinky. All right? Yeah. Then I will go with... This is bait here, but I'm going to go with another Real Madrid player. It has to be, I think, doesn't it? It doesn't have to be. No, no, it no, no. Oh, okay. Well, that, okay, <laughs> hang about here. Because that, right, let's, uh, let me, let me think about that now. <laughs> let me, let's just, let's just think. <laughs> let's uh, just take a rain check there, Danny. Okay, I need, I, I need a German centre back. Oh, okay. And you've, to, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to send it, in. I? I'm going to have to go Rudiger. Okay. Wait, do I need German? I'm in the same know. predicament as you. No, don't try and play it off now. Do you yeah. know you've got right. I've not. I've not submitted Rudiger. All right. I've okay. not like. I've not confirmed that. Correct. You've not said final answer to Chris. Tyler yeah, yet. I've not said final answer. So I need. I think any Bundes keeper works. Obviously, you know that. So no, no, it doesn't. You know what? I'm just gonna send it, mate. We're gonna say. We will go with... <laughs> we'll go with Bauman. No, oh, Danny, yeah. come on. And then we're going to go with Rudiger. Final come answer. On. I really wanted to give you a mope in goal. No, not happening, mate. Not happening. Did you put Manuel Neuer or Trap? I did, yeah. Manuel Good Neuer. Man. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Dodge yeah. that. But that I means put... you absolutely put Rudiger, didn't you? No, I thought you were going to go Neuer, Kohler... And Militao. Militao has got full How chem from Charleston. Dodge that. Oh, yeah, but I didn't think that far ahead, to be honest. But. So I'm actually, I'm actually, wait, what do you mean, but? But. You did need an, a Bundesliga hero centre back in order to get full chemistry. Whereas you could have got you full put... chemistry with Militao or Rudiger. Yeah, but I've, or I've now got Lucio, mate. So... You haven't. What do you mean I haven't? You haven't. I thought you'd go Neuer, Militao, Kohler. You said you put Kohler. No, well, I did put Kohler, and I did put Neuer, but I didn't put Militao. I put Lucio just in case. How many people did you put on your whiteboard? Johnny six. <laughs> did you not know you get three guesses? I'm at not the last having this. I am not having... Are, are you joking? <laughs> About which bit? <laughs> I'm not having this. Am I buying Lucio or not? <laughs> Don't buy Lucio, mate. He's on my iPod. iPod, Noya, Cola, Lucio. What's just happened there? <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. What I thought you'd go and what I wrote down were not the same thing. 
Right, sure. Okay, right. Well, it saved me 1.5 mil, to be fair, so... It has. However, as Hammond would say, You're right, guys! The bronzes count as the originals! Oh, do they now? No, Have you changed? don't worry. Okay, okay no. good man. Just just get your heart rate up a little. Okay, get you yeah. nervous. Yeah. Okay, I've got my trump cards. You do, but not for a goalie, so it's fine. No, not for Mope, because I'm still not giving you Mope at a centre back. I wanted to just give him give you goal. All right, let's see what let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can hit you with. You can have Ollie Ball. Go on, then. Oh, Ollie Ball here, Brad Kelly. That, oh, I tell you what, that face is uncanny. The hairstyle, not so much, but the face is uncanny. I like it. Yeah. Only ball right. there. That's fair enough, mate. You've done well there. You've had a masterclass. Wait, is this Laporte an SBC? An objective? He's extinct. He's extinct? <laughs> yeah. What? Sounds like a you problem, though. But it is a me problem. <laughs> it's a me problem caused by EA. Why is he 400k? He's got 82 pace and 90 defending. And he's got the stupidest price range ever. And I can't buy him and we're going to have to use the gold one. These are the things you got to think about. Well, I did think about it because I'm not that stupid. I do all the SBCs this year and I tried to keep an eye on the objective so I don't pick them and look silly. But I knew he was in the actual squad and you can't buy him anyway. His gold card's great. Don't oh, worry. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're messing. Fine. I should have just went with my bloody robe and... No, you wrote Ruben no, Dias. I should have went done with Militao <laughs> and Edison or whatever I was going to do. Now I've got 61 pace Laporte, right? Let's get into a game. Jack Grealish is alone. Yeah. You get yeah. that one quiet, didn't you? Yeah, I was going to go by it, but then I thought, nah, it's all right. I'm actually not good this year, by the way. Really? I don't believe like, it. The, no, like genuinely. I can't be, I'm not having it. His name is Jack Jack. Jack Jack on loan. Go on, Eto. Everton legend. Yeah, here we go. No, mate, Rudiger. What the? Oh, that fan's in danger. Quick, skip that. Ah! Give me, give me, give me a ginger from Sweden! That was Thank a you. finish, to be fair. That was good, that, wasn't it? That was a very good finish, yeah. Ooh. I like it. Oh, he's in the gap for Eto. Don't do it, you absolute scumbag. No, Richarlison! You scumbag. Yeah, yeah, no, you triggered me, mate. No, you've got Orange Laporte would have got that. He's missed it. Oh, my it. God. He's actually missed it. Oh, he's so dusty. Don't like Richarlison. You can have him back if you want. I'd love him back. <sighs> he finishes them. Why are you griddying? <laughs> Why not? It's Christmas, isn't it? No, oh, I've read it and not read it. <laughs> <laughs> Finish! Green timed as well, Danny. Yes! That is a close half. Hey, we're actually we're quite tied. Yeah, for a man with Capcom Tom and a Ollie Ball, you're doing well. No, oh, kickoff glitch. <laughs> oh, Techers. Techers! Come on! <laughs> Can't be conceding to Harry Kane. Oh! Oh, he's not headed. Oh! Get it! Oh my god, I've got to see the Harry Kane! Get in there! Uh, it's, it's all Laporte. Everything's Laporte's Stop fault. Stop blaming it on Laporte. It's all Laporte's fault, mate. <laughs> nah, I played enough. for champs. Yeah, I played for enough. champs, mate. I can tell with the constant griddying. <laughs> Kick the ball! Yes! Do the thing! Do the thing! Yes! There we go! <laughs> I don't know what the hell is doing, but it's worth it to see that. <laughs> well, that's a red card. That's yes. never... That's a red card. I got the ball. Oh. Yes! Uh, well, it's gone soft, mate. Yes, oh, Richie. Beautiful. Go on, then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a high-scoring game. Um... You stat padded merchant. No! Never mind. Yes! Why is he swinging his leg like that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, mate, calm down. Blow the whistle, ref. Late drama. Blow the whistle, ref. Late drop! Oh, my life, I nearly recreated it. Oh, oh. my God. I can't believe we've drawn.
What a madness of a game. What happens here now? Discard a piece, mate. Oh. Mate, how have... Oh, mate, I've done so good in the squad building section and absolutely bottled it. Well, that's the game. That's the whole point now. All right. I've mixed my team. So have I. First or second. Get out of the way. Let Discard one of mine, please. Right back. No! See you last, mate. Oh. Livid. Absolutely. That was first owner Silas, though. Did you even mix your team? No. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, you, you're a 4 3 1 2. Yeah. And I'm going to go right centre mid. Oh, it's my SBC. Tellez. Hold. It's not Pelinho, though, the best centre mid in the game. It's not the best centre mid in the game who just conceded five goals. That's a big one, though. Tellez is a big one. It's my moment. Tellez can't get him back. Should have thought about that then, shouldn't you? Should have thought about that before I picked Laporte and he didn't have a special card. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> right, there we are then. I'm taking the best Brazilian left back in the game and putting it into part of the SBC for the best left back in the World Cup who's about to get upgraded. When we batter France, it is Luke Shaw. I can't wait till this video comes out when we'll win the World Cup in three days, Danny. I was on a gold upgrade, mate. Lovely. So, that would do. Lovely. Right, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow on Danny's channel. Yes!